Okay, um, tonight I'm observing again the comet Leonard. It has become uh, a little bit closer, uh, a bit brighter, probably magnitude 4.5 or 4 even. And it has significantly moved. It was in the in border of the Bootis and uh, Corona Borealis and uh, Serpent uh, Head part of it. Now it is in the Serpent, completely inside the Serpent and is uh, moving toward the Ophiuchus. Um, I have tried to f uh, photograph it uh, and I was able to do that. And I was using this binocular which is a uh, 280 millimeter by 20 uh, and it's really big with this really significant with one of my one of my photographs actually or several of them i was able actually to capture the color of the comet which is green that's a typical color of the comets the green color is due to the uh, a, a chemical that is in the comet wonder is it cyanide or uh, another gas that causes that color anyway uh, I was using this uh, 20 by 80 it's really like two refractors practically equal to <laughs> I don't know almost like a 10 inch telescope because I could see the individual stars in the M13 global York cluster that's very amazing this is the oldie one which is 10 by 16 dangerous 10 by 60 lightest and the easiest to observe and this is my 7 by 51 the Russian and they're really good uh, I was able to use all of this amazing this comet is getting beautiful it's quickly getting close to the horizon so practically uh, we will lose the chance to see it in a few nights uh, that means it's fastly moving and it's closer to us, it's just passing us right now. And it gets uh, to the southern hemisphere below the horizon for us. So if you are in California, Florida, I think places like Egypt, Morocco, uh, you know, India, go to South China, Thailand, those areas you can see it at its best probably then goes toward the equatorial countries, Indonesia, from Indonesia to Africa and to South America, then Australia, Argentina, South Africa and New Zealand, those places you can see. And at the moment, we have the luck to see. And of course, you the lower you are, the better, because at the moment, near the horizon, we have some haze, so it makes it difficult to see with the naked eye, but in the camera, the camera can pick it up and definitely with the binoculars it's easy to see. Okay, using the 20 by 80 binocular I can see the head of the, the comb of the Comet Leonard actually has rays it's very interesting and the tail of it is now brighter and uh, a bit wider than last night that's very interesting I hope that uh, you, you can pick it up if you're using uh, astrophotography to show that this is something that is real I, uh, I've seen and I feel that there are rays uh, like the rays that you can see here of course a uh, little bit fainter uh, just toward the top of it, as if, and a little bit here toward the lower part, but not that extended. Anyway, uh, it's very interesting. Okay, I'm now looking toward the serpent, which is at the center. You can see it now, top left of the center, this triangle, brighter star. The comet is almost near the center, as you can see now. I've made it a little bit darker, so you can see. And now I'll show you with the arrow. That's the head of the comet. I got another shot which actually shows the comet uh, a little bit more green. And as you can see here, this is the fuzzy bit near the 
lower part of the image I now point to it with the arrow it has a long tail around probably one degree or, or two degree probably and it has its best now so don't miss this opportunity to see it of course I've used the handheld mobile phone camera to take these images so that's interesting for me